Well, hello, my dears. This is Sarah from SheHoldsDearly.com, and today I want to share with you several ways to get the old musty smell out of furniture. I'm really gonna tackle a piece that has been bugging me for years. I have this beautiful old steamer trunk. I've seen these go for $400, and I had a friend call me years ago and say, hey, do you want a free steamer trunk? And I was like, free trunk? Yeah, let's do it. So I said yes on the spot, didn't a sight unseen, and unsmelled, okay? So we, we had it on the porch for a, a long time, but it was so, it's, and it is pretty on the outside. It's got great detail, great patina, but it smells really bad inside. Like musty and almost like formaldehyde. I don't think it is formaldehyde, but like you get the idea. It's like all nasty chemical smell. And I have, I've put this on social media several times, gotten all the ideas from people. I have tried everything except for kitty litter. So I've used it as a coffee table, but it's difficult to move. One of the one of the handles has ripped off, so it's it's difficult to pick up and move. Right now I have it in the corner by my front door, and it is housing rollerblades and extra feed bags for our animals. So those things I don't care as much about, but I would never want to put say blankets in it or anything of any real value to me and it is just basically a beautiful stand for decorations but I have in the past really tried to get that smell out and I'll tell you the things I've tried today I really truly want to deal with this and I'm ready to pull out the big guns so in the past I have tried coffee grounds just putting those in the pie pan inside I've tried baking soda to absorb the smell I've tried cedar chips, I've tried charcoal, I've tried leaving it outside and airing it out, I've tried bleach water and letting that dry, and I've tried regular soap and water. None of those things were strong enough and I think it has to do with the lining and the actual glue that is in this and there's almost, the lid has a a felt lining as well and I just think the glue has gone bad and there's nothing is going to make it better until I actually remove it and I'm going to show you the product that we're gonna try it's a shellac now if you are dealing with the musty smell that I'm talking about or you are dealing with cigarette smoke or you are dealing with animal smells feces and things um, these are, this process will also work well. I've heard people like to use keels, like in rental houses, to um, paint over awful spots, like in the corner of a room where an animal was going. But what they don't like is that over time, the e efficacy fades. So we're gonna try shellac. But first of all, I need to remove the lining as much as I can and then go back in and I'll, I'll paint it and tell you how it goes. My first advice would be to avoid pieces like this, but if you love it or you inherit it, you know, kind of accidentally like I did, that's when you wanna try some of these steps. And honestly, I would just go, I would just go for the extreme answer here. All right, I wanted to pop on and give you guys a quick update. I have been spraying down the lining. It wasn't felt, it's actually a cardboard kind of look like felt, but I'm spraying it with water, scraping it with this plastic paint tool, paint scraper, and it's going, it's going all right, we're getting it done, but partway through I thought I should pull out my steamer. So I have this steamer, just a cheapo one off Amazon, and it is making it go so much faster. So if you have a steamer, I would use it. Um, it's okay, you can use water if you need to, but I think the steamer is the best. All right, I have finished removing all the lining. I did it until dark last night. I think it took me four hours, FYI. And then I let it dry all night and I am ready to sand it down. So I'm gonna use a 220 grit sandpaper. It's my go-to sandpaper. It comes in sheets, like a piece of paper, and then I cut it into thirds and I fold it into thirds. So it kind of fits in my hand. And then I work 
to that side till it's used up. I flip it over, I use this side, I open it up and I use that last third. And I just do that over and over again until I get the desired smoothness that I'm going for. And I will seal it. So I am using this BIN Ben Primer. It is the ultimate stain blocker and it's a shellac. Dries in 45 minutes, blocks odors. That's what we're going after. And I'm gonna use what is called a chip brush, just a super cheap nylon brush that is disposable. Cause it's not worth cleaning out a brush if you're gonna use shellac. All right, so I am completely finished. It only took about 45 minutes to dry, and I would say it's 95% better, which is a huge improvement. I think now if I went back and I tried those first things that I tried, I think I would like get it to 100%. So as I was painting, I was thinking, I need to tell you guys this. I painted the lid, and then I did a certain order that which I think was really helpful. So I painted the bottom first, so I'm not reaching over wet paint, then I painted the back wall area, and then the side walls, and then the front. So you wanna think ahead so you're not having to reach over wet paint. I did get some white, some paint in my hair, but it wasn't bad at all. So I wanted to pass that on, and then I started thinking I would really love to decoupage this and show you guys how to do it, but that is for another day. You can tell me in the comments below if that's something you're interested in. There are great sources for finding papers. There's certain glues that work better than others and scraping tools and things. So I would love to pass that on to you to show you how to decoupage inside drawers and inside trunks and things like that. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this whole video. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do post regularly and I share my professional design advice for the DIY home life. All right, take care and I'll talk to you soon.